What's going on? Today I'm going to be going over some uh, records I received in the mail from Slow Low Records over at uh, New Mexico. They've been putting out stuff on Instagram. They put out nine records at a time every week. They do like three, three or four uh, every week. And uh, I caught some fire last two weeks ago. Took a toll on my bank account, but I got absolute fire. Right now, what is it? It's a third. It's a Wednesday morning at eleven. So I just decided to put on some vibe music. Got this uh, OG Jimmy Smith. You know, it's just vibes. It's good background music, honestly. You know, with Lou Donaldson, good shit. Good shit. Yep. All right. So I only got four records, but they are fire. So I'm gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna kind of get into the least fire and most fire, but throughout is fire. First up, Bill Evans, New Jazz Conceptions. This is on the, uh, Green Riverside label. This is a 1966, I'm a little bit under the weather, if you can't hear the allergies, all the cotton wood flying in the air, they got me, they got me dolls going, but, uh, anyways, 1966 pressing of these, uh, of Bill Evans' first uh, record on Riverside, which was originally released in 1957. And uh, many people know his trio albums, like Walls for Every, Everybody Digs Bill Evans. Those are very vibey albums, very low key. This one has the same drummer, obviously Bill Evans, but it has a different ba bass player, Teddy Kotick, with uh, the drummer, Paul Motion. And, uh, this record swings really hard compared to the other ones. It, it's very up tempo. A lot of it's up tempo, and they just cook on this record. And uh, I was not expecting that when I first put it on. They I absolutely cook. It's really good, really freaking good. Yeah, it has Walls for Debbie on here. It has a. It's like a minute long. It's just Bill Evans playing, but near mint all the or uh, VG plus all the way around. Records in great condition. It's good stuff. I love that cover too. The uh, co original cover was a little different. It was just uh, Bill Evans in the streets of New York at night. But uh, they changed it to this, which is pretty freaking cool in my opinion. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the cheaper ones I picked up, but honestly, it's a, it's a, if you find it, pick it up. It's really good, really good. Really interesting to hear Bill Evans at his early stage. At least in Riverside. So, yeah. Good stuff. Next up, Fire. Absolute Fire. Ornette Coleman, Shape of Jazz to Come. This is a 1968 pressing of the 1959 free jazz classic, uh, Shape of Jazz to Come. So, uh, yeah, it's on that. Uh, green and red Atlantic label, so not too desirable. But this was in the shrink when I first bought it, or when it first came in the mail. But I took that bitch off because it looked ugly. I like some shrink, but this shrink looked bad, so I took it off. And now I got a near mint jacket and a near mint record to go along with it. And uh, this pressing surprisingly sounded really good. I wasn't expecting much, but it sounded pretty decent. And the thing with this record. It's a classic. Here, I'm gonna... A little coffee. Still waking up, but uh, you know, this is a classic record, classic free jazz record. I hear everyone talk about it all the time. I had never listened to it until I received this. I was waiting to get a solid copy, a nice solid copy. I didn't really want to get a reissue, and uh, usually I don't really stream free jazz because. When I'm streaming, I'm not really in the mood for free, to be honest, because I, well, I usually stream in the car, and, uh, yeah, but this is a really fun listen, and I was not expecting that. It's really not that far out. It's really, it's like, it's very free for 1959, don't get me wrong. It's free. It's got, uh, where is it? Don Cherry and Cornette, Charlie Hayden on bass, and Billy Higgins on drums, obviously, Cornette called them on alto, but... It's a really fun listen, surprisingly, and I'm so glad I could pick it up. Reasonable price, yeah. 
the earbuds. Good stuff. I would highly recommend checking this out. It's, it's uh, for someone who's getting into jazz, I can see how it's kind of a mind bender, but for someone who's kind of been listening to jazz for a while, uh, it's it's a fun listen, especially that this last tune, uh, Chronology. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> it's good. It's good stuff. I highly recommend. Really glad I could get a solid copy of it. So, shape of just come. <sighs> absolute fire. I mean, with all of these, absolute fire. Thelonious Monk, Monk's music. This has uh, the Thelonious Monk septet with Coleman Hawkins, Art Blake, and Gigi Grass. So, let me just read off this lineup quick. We got Ray Colpin on trumpet, Gigi Rice on alto, Colbert Hawkins and John Coltrane on tenor, Thelonious Smog on piano, Wilbur Ware on bass, Art Blake on drums. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is what a lineup. And uh, aptly named Monk's music, this is just a lot of his standards. We got, uh, it actually starts with like a, like a uh, corral, just with the horns, which is so cool. I have never heard that done before, so it was really cool to hear. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we got the crowd, and then we got Well You Needed, Ruby My Dear, Off Minor, Epistrophe, and then Krebs Kua with Nelly. Those are all classics. And uh, in case you're wondering, this is, in fact, on that blue Riverside Deep Groove label. This is a... Uh, 1960 pressing? Wait, wait, no. I can't remember, but the, uh, this is a second press. The original has the uh, white and like teal label, but second press, mono, I cannot complain. The mo There's actually two mixes of this, the mono and the stereo, and they're two completely different mixes. They use two completely different sets of microphones, and apparently the stereo sounds trash, so glad I could get the... Uh, Motto, but yeah, dude, I love that cover too. Monk is the only guy who could look make sitting in a wagon look cool <laughs> in a children's wagon. Damn, he's he's just something else. Yeah, the record's in great shape. I'm uh, really glad, really glad I could pick this one up. Fire, fire, absolute fire. So highly recommend it's a uh, it's kind of similar with uh Th Thelonious Monk with John Coltrane that Jazzland record that I have and that most some most of you probably have or some of you probably have but it's a little bit better recorded and it's just a little bit more polished overall and so yeah really really solid stuff from Monk and this is some of his best stuff his Riverside stuff absolutely killer stuff. Really glad I could pick up. Alright, this last one was the <coughs> uh, sorry. It was the reason I bought all of this. It was so what Slow Mo does is they post like on their story they post the stack of records that they're gonna be putting out and you can read the spine or some of the spines that are in pretty good shape. And uh, I saw all these, and I was like, alright, and then I saw this one. I saw the spine, and I was like, Whew. I gotta get this. Because <laughs> I literally could not find this record anywhere. It's not even, like, that insanely expensive of a record. I just could not find it. eBay, Discogs, nothing. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm absolutely thrilled. <clears throat> thrilled. I'm gonna get a sip of coffee. These allergies, man. Not fun. But yeah, absolutely thrilled. I can pick this up, put a dent in my wallet, but honestly, I don't care. I didn't even look at them. They posted it, and I said, I want this. And I didn't even look at the price. <sighs> Max Roach. Members, don't get weary. <sighs> this is a first 1968 pressing from the red and green, uh, yeah, red and green label. Holy shit. This is one of my favorite post bop records ever. It's so good. I don't see a lot of people talk about it. I don't think many people know about it. I mean, everyone has shown everything on the VC, but I don't see many people talk about this record. And oh, 
It's so good. I, I somehow stumbled upon it on Spotify, and I streamed it a ton. And I was like, I need this. And I couldn't find it anywhere. And it's a low, low hit. And it hooked me up. So I'll, let me read uh, off the lineup. So we got uh, Max Ross on drums. Gary Bartz on alto. Absolutely smokes it on this record. Charles Tolliver on trumpet. He played with Jack McQueen on... Uh, uh, Jimmy Merritt on electric bass, Stanley Cowell on piano. That is a lineup. And it's got six songs. Uh, my two favorite songs are Libra and Effie. And then obviously, Members Don't Get Weary, that has a vocal list on it. It has, uh, shoot, what's his name? Andy Bay. Oh, man. Fire! If you, you street, you can stream this anywhere. YouTube, any, Spotify, anywhere. So please listen to this. Get your ears on it. It's incredible. Jeez. Yeah, I I can't believe I have this in my hands right now. Uh, sometimes you just get a record like that. You just you just can't can't get over that you actually have it. So I'm thrilled to have this, and I'm thrilled to have all those other records. Please check this out, and I love that cover too. So, so so cool, man. And uh, the digital masterings are not very good. I'm gonna say it. So I'm glad I could get the analog uh, of this. Jeez, Gary Bartz, I'm telling you, smokes it. Same with Charles Tolliver. They both smoke it on this record. Obviously, Max Roach. 1968. They're coming. Then it's coming to the end. Uh, of uh, post post bop, uh, hard bop. So, smoker, 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 smoker. I'm so glad I can have this. All right, I think I've talked enough. Four records, absolutely fire from Slow Low. Please check out all of these. Check out members. Members don't get weary. God, what a great album. So yeah, nice little stack. Happy I can pick it up. Spent a lot of money, but honestly, that was my graduation gift to myself. I graduated high school. So, moving on to the next chapter of my life. Hopefully I can bring my records with me to college. I don't know. Keep you guys up to date. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Check out Members Don't Go Weary, please. And uh, good vibes only. Peace.